imagine the feeling of accomplishment if your little recommendation down in your little place in the organization led to some sort of change. And you're like, well, then that was worth it. Working in my little spot kind of was worth it. Somebody paid attention to what I was doing. And I was thinking as you were talking, as leaders, there are those who go, don't say anything to anybody. It used to be a saying, you know, there's never, never a bad opportunity to keep your mouth shut, especially <laughs> in front of important people. But then you know, there's times when you, you're asked the question and you should have that freedom to speak truth. And, and I say that it, it's not without its a little bit of filter. Um, but at the same time, you talk about debrief. You want to talk about a good time to have a debrief is the boss comes down. You have this conversation with the boss. You bring up your new idea. The boss says, that sounds good. Probably your next conversation should be with your immediate boss to tell them what just transpired so that it doesn't become, you know, that kind of communication is important as well because your boss doesn't want to be blindsided. Absolutely. Absolutely. Folks, we're talking with BJ Fitzpatrick, former Colonel, always Marine. You can look him up in LinkedIn. It's Barry Fitzpatrick Jr. Go ahead, take a look at him. It's Barry Fitzpatrick Jr. On this episode of the 5P Podcast, we're covering the overall situation, mission, execution, and we're leading into the admin and logistics portion of how people, how leaders, are, who are looking at this stuff and go, great concept, how can we execute? You know, in short order with us, it starts at fiveparagraph.com. You get the book, you join the 5P inner circle. We get it. There are a lot of leaders that are out there that go, I need this for my people. I wish that I had entrepreneurs that could be trained up through an online resource to be able to go and execute. The 5P Inner Circle offers you and your people templates, learning experiences, full-length interviews. All of these interviews are there uninterrupted inside of our membership area, as well as other bonuses and webinars and access to your virtual mastermind group of other business leaders that are using this same template so that way you can cross communicate, All right, This is great from a business development standpoint. So take a look, yes, at fiveparagraph.com. Get the book as a bonus, you get 30 days free access to the 5P Inner Circle. Try on the learning experiences. See if it's right for your people to be able to get them engaged in this. I learned the military operations order process right when I was brand new, a boot in the Marine Corps, right? And I would assume that you learned the five paragraph operations order process at the basic school. Oh yeah. First and I was an instructor at the basic school for a time in the Marine Corps also. I was part of weapons. Your question, training. you already knew the answer. <laughs> oh, I definitely already knew the answer. You were marching down Appalachian, or application trail down there to weapons training battalion. I was the guy with the campaign cover teaching mm -hmm. everybody how to shoot. Yeah, good times. We chewed some of the same dirt there, sir. Oh, yeah, for sure. Probably in, in vastly different years. Yeah, probably. <laughs> and that's what's so great about the Marine Corps, in my opinion, and the military as a whole. But it's old breed, young breed. Doesn't make a damn bit of difference so long as it's the Marine breed. I definitely enjoy every time that we have sat down and had a conversation together. And I'm grateful yeah. for, for you. I'm grateful for your lessons. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. Absolutely. Folks, you should definitely connect with BJ Fitzpatrick. Go to LinkedIn right now. It's Barry Fitzpatrick Jr. Connect with him. All right. So I'm going to throw you a little bit of a curveball on this one, sir. What has been the most humbling moment since getting out of the military and transitioning into, into business? What put you on your ass the most? 